Let's start by proving the soundness of this acting system. So recall now when we say this, we mean provable under the above proof. Okay. So now the soundness says that if we manage to prove any formula with this proof system, the Hilbert style proof system then it should be the case that the formula is valid okay so how do we uh, this is a the easy part of uh, i mean the soundness is the easy part okay so what we show is two claims claim one all axioms are valid This is the first claim we to we show. Then um, the second claim we show is uh, if the if the preconditions of an inference rule is valid, then um then um, the the post condition the conclusion is also valid. okay okay so we will prove this claim uh, this is very easy to see okay these two things are easy to show But if we have these two claims, how does soundness follow? Soundness follow because uh, consider so uh, the soundness follows by a simple induction on the proof length. What do we mean by that? Let's use this notation provable n. C means that C is provable in less than or equal to n steps. Uh, that means that means that there is a proof C1, C2, Cn, which is C uh, in the proof system using the proof system. Proof system uh, such that M is less than or equal to N. Okay, so this uh, we will show that uh, uh, we will use this predicate. Okay, and then what do we do? Okay, so now that uh, we have this, uh, we, our uh, idea is induction on proof length. So, so base case. So what our uh, soundness is? can be expressed as if for all n okay. so uh, uh, we know that we know that if and only if for some n in natural numbers okay so what we are going to do is uh, we 
we prove by induction using the the two claims that for all n if this is provable then it is implies then this is valid okay so it's very easy okay so uh, base case okay uh, so you have uh, c1 that is c and that is your proof now by so this has to be then then c has to be to be an axiom hence then okay Here we assume induction hypothesis okay uh, that is uh, for all for all uh, there is suppose it is true for n then consider a proof c1 cn cn plus 1 which is c okay now how did we arrive at cn plus 1 okay what we did to do we proved we had either so there are two possibilities so possibility 1 C n plus one is an axiom. This is trivial because axioms are all valid according to our claim. Second, C n plus one is the conclusion of some some inference. inference rule so let's say the inference rule had some uh, c1 uh, let me use some other letter so the c1 c2 etc etc cm and we had this uh, conclusion which is cn plus 1 okay this is how we this is the inference rule that we used okay suppose the inference do that we used is the one given on the left so uh, by um, we know that each of the phi i should be equal to some phi let's say m i for some uh, m i uh, less than or equal to n okay because n plus 1 is c okay it, it has to be previous case so by by induction by induction we have it is valid that phi i is this is for all i okay by induction this is valid okay but by claim my claim uh if the preconditions are valid then so is conclusion and hence it is the case that cn plus 1 because that is the conclusion of this rule okay so so this uh, this uh, shows that if we manage to prove that this is true for any proof system if we manage to prove that all axioms are valid and if the inference rules are um, are uh, are such that whenever the precondition of an inference rule is valid the conclusion is also valid then uh, we have a sound proof system okay in the case of uh, so all we need to do is then verify this case so 
so for soundness of the hilbert style for soundness of the hilbert style proof system we just need to prove to verify verify the claims okay so let's look at the first axiom first axiom is alpha implies alpha implies beta implies alpha okay uh, so any suppose sub, look at any val, uh, world okay so in this world what are the possibilities you have alpha you have beta and you have alpha implies beta implies uh, alpha so in any world the possibilities that it assigns to alpha is true true it might assign this true false okay or false true or false false okay now depending on that this uh, formula you can verify that if alpha is true and beta is true then alpha implies beta implies and this is also true you will see that all, in all these cases it is true okay or in other words all we need to verify is that think of think of uh, uh, alpha beta gamma etc as propositional variables Uh, see, uh, verify that that under all possible assignments of truth values values to the variables variables. we have the axiom to okay this can be easily verified uh, we will leave it as an exercise okay now what about the inference rule the inference rule is alpha implies beta and alpha and from this you can conclude beta so what we prove for inference rule is let v be any um, uh, well, uh, world where v proves alpha and alpha then in that world beta is also okay again this is easy to show so we just verify by truth table so this is verify by total okay this proves this completes our uh, proof of soundness 